Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. And, you know, being able to reach this milestone has really been an achievement for me. And it, it, it's just like I wouldn't have been able to do this without your support. So I greatly appreciate that. And I know you probably hear it's like, Rosalyn, you keep telling us that. But yes, I'm going to keep telling you that because I greatly appreciate y'all. <laughs> so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacts your life and head you towards positive direction also if you uh feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes that you know that is very informative to you or you just feel like you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath uh please go ahead and do so and while you're at it Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even also share on social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support, as always. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my uh, meditation music that I'm listening to is uh, called uh, 963 Hertz. You are the universe. Manifest anything you desire. And I will post that link in the description box below. And um, today in my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's people, we should definitely always avoid. Yes, I know y'all probably seen those videos, but it's, it's just like, it's always good to know. I already feel like it's always good to know. Um, it, it's just like, throughout my journey, I have, you know, went through a lot of setbacks. I have went through a lot of mistakes, failures. You know different things that you know has humbled me you know it upset me a lot when it came to different people because I, I went about my way helping a lot of people um that also has helped me as well but it's just like as Hayokas, we tend to bring out insecurities towards people we bring out people people's uh darkest secrets at times about how they truly feel about certain people you know especially if you come into competition with somebody or they feel like you're stronger in your path than they are or they just don't want to see you win you know it's like people like that we really need to avoid and it's just like when i can sit up here and look at myself from now and from especially you know throughout my whole life but it, it really hit me the hardest going through my spiritual awakening i thought i was going through stuff back to back to back i was just like god dog i can't never take a break but just looking at people you should always avoid people that want to sit up here uh and be uh what do they call it um enabler you need to not be around people like that when i was an addict of marijuana i had people that were supportive of that because they you know when i straight told them you know this will continue to manifest things that i, I don't need in my life you know the energy i don't need there's things gonna be happening back to back that you know be negative and when people did not want to see me succeed, they would go ahead and buy me more things or they would, you know, like I had people messing with my YouTube channel, you know, messing with the times and stuff like that or cutting videos off or unplugging my stuff. You know, I had stuff like that happening to me. So you have to be able to avoid people like that are enabling you and don't want to see you happy or you know, people that will constantly bring up your past. You know, with you being a Hayoka, I've heard too many comments like Rosalind, you know, um, people looked at me different or people, you know, make me feel out of place. Anytime somebody make you feel out of place, you got to constantly keep telling them over and over again, hey, this makes me feel, you know, my energy low or my frequency low. Stop doing that. Those are the type of people you need to, you need to leave alone. <laughs> you really need to leave them alone. And it's b bad with us being in the past as we are. We always trying to look for the greater good in people. That's our problem. I mean, there's a lot of times we feel like we can be Mr. Fix-It or Mrs. Fix-It towards each and every person. But you only can help. If you only can do your part. You can bring the information to them about letting them know, hey, if you fix this and this and this and that about your life, you know, it will help you, you know, go towards a better life. 
and they still don't want to do it, you know, you only can do so much, you know, you, you can't enable, you know, people like that constantly all the time. And it's just like, I feel bad because there's so many friends I did not want to cut off like that. But it's like when I used to always tell them here, here's uh, my intro about my, my channel. Um, these are the things that I do. They're so fixated on certain things that I said, not getting the whole positive picture, but they're, you know, they got so fixated about who I said I was related to. They bypassed everything else that I said I was doing my channel for. And it wasn't, you know, be to be constantly saying who I'm related to, who I'm related to, who I'm related to. It's about who I was related to. But the bigger picture was not the fact of who I was related to, about all the things I had to go through in life because of who I emulated or who I'm, you know, I mirrored, who, you know, all these different things of how I acted, you know, knowing all these different gifts about myself and why was I going through these situations and, you know, people like that, you know, and, and it's hard when you have to be around people like that and you have to let them go, especially if you've been friends with them for years. I know there's plenty of times y'all <laughs> drop comments to me like, Rosalind, I don't talk to these people for so long and then they turn their back on me or you know after you went through your spiritual awakening people start dropping like flies out your life you're trying to understand why that happened but it's like when you have to you have to think about it universe god anything that's positive in your life is going to either have you turn your back on them or they're going to drop them out your life or you're going to see their true intentions about you and you're like don't ever feel like you, why was I so stupid? Why did I not, you know, uh, see this before? It wasn't meant for you to see it at that time. You had to be able to go through all the different difficulties, the, all the heartaches, the, you know, the ups and downs, anything like that, that you had to uh, go through. And then when you finally came to that path and that road for you to finally see, okay, are you going to keep tagging along with this person and bringing you nothing but hard times and bad times and drama and this and this and that or are you going to be free and let yourself go you know sometimes you have to just walk away from people without closure I've done that a lot of times you know there was people that I constantly kept telling them especially if I'm telling you my situation on my life you know I, I, I let y'all know to a certain extent on things that are going on in my life as long as it's helping you you know being able to tell people being an open book to a certain extent but if people on one-on-one -on -one that are personally in my life they know truly about almost a lot of things that are going on in my life that i'm able you know i'm not comfortable with talking about a lot of things because there's certain things universe does not want me to, to put out there and i have to understand that because before i used to do that and people used to pray against me so i had to learn to do that you have to keep things to yourself at times you know you want to be happy and being able to tell certain people but not a lot of people going to be happy for you when they see you doing better. You know, a lot of people are, are already good. You know, they're okay with you as long as you're not becoming competition. You know, when people start, oh, well, they start down your dreams, that's another person you need to leave alone. <laughs> now, I've had many people tell me, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, just because somebody else's life, they, I've, I've said this plenty of times in other videos, if they can't see their dreams in their life, they, they daggone sure ain't going to see yours. So bump what they say. You keep doing what you do. You know, only thing is a failure, but it's not to try. That's how I feel. If you don't try, then that's a failure. If you keep going and going and going, some people go on a life journey and want to go towards something, and then it had to take you to have to go through all these different things to see that this is not what you wanted. But if you know it's something that you can't, you constantly think about every single day, that you want to manifest in your life don't give up just because it got too hard for you that's what it's supposed to be for there's so many times i don't hurt know about the things that i wanted or there was a guideline or there was a stupid rule or it was this it was that i kept going you know i seen the things i've done it's just like when i can look now and see how many videos i've done i, I didn't used to count how many videos I was doing in a day. And then I looked finally a few days ago. I'm like, God, God you got over a thousand and thirty some videos. And I'm like, Dad, I didn't even know I made that many. But it was a blessing to be able to do that. And knowing each and every video, it was helping somebody in a, a big way. But there's a lot of people that weren't happy for me that was doing that. Or, you know, I had family members laugh at me when I said I was a motivational speaker. 
for empaths. They laughed at me and I'm just like, you know, you ain't got to believe in me. As long as I believe in myself, that's all that really matters to me. You know, because when you laugh at somebody like that, it's like you're showing your insecurities anyway. So if somebody always down in your dream or want to laugh at you because of the things that you're going for, because it's like your gift is going to go work around the things that are your life purpose or what you're truly here for. You have to go through all these setbacks and failures to be able to know what you were truly here for. When you know you get that chill to let you know, hey, I'm going down that right path or you did the right thing. You know, you keep going. Don't worry about those people like that. You know, ones that keep on, they see you doing something good and they want to keep sucking <laughs> your energy away. I know you haven't been around some people that will make you feel so low. Oh, God. Or so, you know, I've had people that will do that to me. That, like, they will invest on trying to know empaths. I've had people that were related to me and then purposely, <laughs> purposely, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, my allergies are acting up so bad, purposely, you know, drain me just to be able to do stuff like that or send me certain things in the mail knowing they were trying to harm me but it is just like people just don't know when you're gifted like that and they don't know all your gifts they don't know when they wish something bad on you is either gonna make them sick it's gonna make their journey messed up all these different things that I'm like whoa when I found out all these different gifts about me that's why I try to stay humble I try not to wish nothing bad on people because you never know you shouldn't wish nothing bad on anybody anyway regardless on what they do to you as long as you know you're pushing out stuff I mean there's times times y'all done heard me say I wish you know I said a whole lot of hateful stuff about my family but then when I look at it I say y'all are a part of my journey you know y'all are non-existent to me but y'all are a part of my journey that gave me that strength to let me know I would never allow somebody to ever put me in that position again never sit up here and constantly throw my past in my in my face those are the type of people and even if it's your family your family now that's a sad thing but there are some people that your family I barely talk to anybody in my family especially after I found out I was adopted and all the things I found out about my life I didn't know who was real about it and who was not so just for me to be out of that situation I cut off a lot of family members I, I had to and it's not the fact that I wanted to and I told some family members I don't want to cut y'all off but it's just the fact that y'all been around me too much to not know the things that were going on or the things that my mother said and you never knew this but it's just like there are certain people we have to avoid you know with us I know like y'all have heard a lot of videos like that but how many of y'all actually heard personal journeys about people saying that? I've heard robotic ones. <laughs> you know, I try to get past those, but I can't get past them sometimes with all the F, 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 F. I can't do all that Android videos. But being able to go through these things and knowing all these situations where I had to make sure I protected myself. Because you will have people invading your space, your energy space. Because they have jacked up things going on they want to be able to bring that into your life and transfer that off to you that's why it's just like i don't i don't shake hands with people because you never know <laughs> you never know what kind of transfer they trying to do to you it's just like in them hey how you doing oh I don't, i'm sorry i don't shake hands you know i just don't it's, you never know what energy they're passing on to you so i hope everybody's having a blessed weekend i mean not a blessed weekend a blessed week because I'm, I'm so ready for the weekend already but uh it's been a crazy one um much love to you uh post notification shout out because i've been going, doing so many shout outs i don't want to leave anybody out but um giving a shout out to kimber uh keith um Diamond King, much love to you. Okay, I'm because I don't want to be pulling out all these different papers to try to give some my shout outs. But much love to y'all. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Protect your energy and love and light in all the way you can. If you have to pray over yourself, the best thing I do is pray over my, my videos, pray over myself, especially when I go out in nature. You never know what kind of people you're going to attract out there as well. But, you know, send out love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know when somebody needs a kind word or a kind gesture because that goes a long way. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. Much love. Peace. Bye.